Hi there, so today we're going to be going over how to use the Kipper Robot Simulator. So the first section we're going to go over is this editor section. And so in the editor section, this is where all of our code is going to be. And so some of this we don't want to delete, like these include functions, the int main, the brackets, the return zero. But the print function is something that we can actually change. And this is kind of the area where we're going to be adding new stuff. So let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. So when I click run, it's going to gray out. And then down here in the console section, it's going to say compiling, compilation succeeded, and then it's going to print out hello world. That's exactly what we wanted it to do. So hello world is what we had here in our print function. And so if we want to, we could change this to our names. So I'm going to change mine to Tim. So now if I run my program again, it'll say compiling, compilation succeeded, and that says hello Tim, which is exactly what I told it to do. So I'm sure the main thing that people are wondering is how to actually move the motors. So the first function we're going to use to move the motors is just motor. And the motor function takes two arguments. And so the first one is the port number. So on the robots, we have port 0 and 3. I'm going to move port 0 with this function. I'm going to tell it to move at 50% power, just like that. And then now I have to have another motor function in order to actually get it to move port 3 as well. So I'm going to put motor 3, and then I'm going to move this one at 50% power too, because we want them to go straight. Now we just have one last thing to add, and that's going to be a function to actually tell it how long to go for. And so I'm going to use the msleep function. And the msleep stands for millisecond sleep. And so if I put in 5,000, that's going to make it run for 5 seconds. And so now we've got our basic motor motor msleep program. And we can go ahead and run this and see what happens. But first, I'm actually going to clear with this clear button right here. So I have a nice clear console before I run my next program. So now I'm going to click run. It's going to say compiling. Then compilation succeeded. And it's going to print out hello, Tim. And you'll notice it's, there's some other stuff that's printed out right here. And that's to indicate that it's actually running motors and stuff on the robot and stopping them and things like that. You can ignore most of that because it usually won't come until, you know, after some of your stuff in your program has run. The main thing we care about is this Hello Tim that we'd actually told it to print out. And so the last thing you might be wondering is, how do I get my robot back to the start? So if we go over to the robot section right here, and right next to start location, we click this little refresh icon. That'll send the robot right back to the start. So that's all there is to it to use the Kipper Robot Simulator.